The confidants, bitch. The confidants. Oh, <laughs> and not see where this was going. Hey babes, it's Tuller Top Music Box and welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all are feeling a little greedy today because we got a full ass Tate McGray album to react to titled Think Later and I am so f stoked. Last time I looked, she had like the upper 50 mil listeners on Spotify. She has literally popped off her. Also, I had no idea that Tate McGray could perform and dance. I think it was a billboard performance or something, her dance break. I was not prepared. She she slipped my throat and I was not prepared for that performance. She's got two great singles so far, Greedy and X's, which I have listened to. I reacted to X's. Not Greedy because I heard it on my own, but that's what got me interested in her. But but if you like song X's and you want to check out my reaction, I'll put it up here. Oh, I'm really excited to listen to this album. I love that it's titled Think Later. Like I feel like it's gonna be like kinda like think later about what you say. We're just gonna say what we feel now. I just really want to hear these tracks, honestly. I really just feel like she's the pop girly on the rise and she's gonna really make her way in the media. And I'm so here for it. Like, what a queen. Do your thing, girly. The album has 14 songs and it is 38 minutes and 22 seconds. A decent amount of songs, but it's kind of short, which, like I say in some of my videos, we do have short attention spans. So she's giving the Gen Zs what they need. On the album cover, she's just like, and it looks like a black bikini bottom with just like this black shirt. I don't know what she's standing in front of. It says think later. I don't know what that is. It looks like hockey padding or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> and I know she's from Canada. The tracks that are calling out the most to me are run for the hills. Like girl is a running cause this dude was spooky and she's scared. Like that's what that song's giving. And then I'm really excited for plastic palm trees because I feel like it's gonna, gonna kind of talk about just like how there's like a plastic type of life in LA and California, like whatever. Everything has to be perfect. I don't know if we're gonna get that deep, but maybe. Based on her other album that I reacted to, I used to think I could fly. I think we might get that deep, honestly. I guess I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna start listening. I'm really nervous because I just really want it to be a really good album. So it makes me nervous because she had two like incredible singles. So I'm just really scared. Like I want it to, I want her to live up you know to all the hype that's been out there i'm nervous <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get into it the first track is called cut my hair this track is giving like when you cut your hair and you feel like a bad bitch like you have that new fresh cut and it's like new year new me type shit it's just like you just feel like a different person like sometimes you just need to get a haircut to get your confidence get your energy back I think that's what this song is gonna give, especially since it's like the opening track. Oh, the visualizer is kind of spooky. She has like, um, I don't know if you can see, probably not, but I'll put it on the screen. But she has like scissors and she's like <laughs> doing like this with the scissors at her face. Girl, are we okay? <laughs> So we're starting off like this girl we're starting off like this she's not doing well she wants to just to just have a period where she drinks tries to forget this shit cuts her hair just uh, uh, like a kind of like a purge almost before she like is her new self girl she's been having selfish thoughts girl as you should if you're going through a tough time you really need to focus on yourself queen like don't don't think about anybody else because if you can't take care of yourself, you won't be ready for what's to come after that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, oh, no, don't go back, don't go back. Ooh, that <laughs> show you whatever she do i can do it better the confidants bitch the confidants i'm liking this track so far there's just something so empowering about cutting your hair and i feel like action of cutting your hair it's just really exuding out of this song like she's confident she's like i can do it better bitch she's putting her black dress on she's ready i don't um kind of sounds like she might want to get back with her ex i'm a little confused about that girly pop but we'll see I'm back, 
Sad. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, wait, what did she say? Sad girl bit. Sad girl bit got a little boring, girl. It really does get boring sometimes. It's so overplayed. I'm so about these women just being confident these days. I feel like it's a new era of women. It's scary, like women are powerful bro like you need to watch the f women are gonna be sweeping the streets and men are gonna be the sad boys like dude it's it's crazy being a little bad girl integrity that was dope also just that whole idea of cutting your hair like just cutting it off and just being a new confident queen like i really this is the song exudes you know that she's about to get into that and then it goes into greedy she was debating cutting her hair she's like i'm tired of being this sad girl bit and then boom we're greedy like oh shit let's listen to greedy i've already heard it before but i feel like it really goes with the story and i just want to bop out for a second of course <laughs> Baby, so sure of yourself. Baby, don't get greedy. That shit won't end well. She's in her confidant era, bitch. She's like, yeah, you think you can have me? <laughs> I think not. Think later. Like, <laughs> go. I love that line. He said, I'm just curious, you know, I can't tell if you love me or hate me. Never met someone like that. It's like this whole narrative being flipped of like how men did that to her and now she's doing it to men and they're like, what the f I'm like so attracted to you. Like I've never had a girl who didn't like woo over me and fall to my command. But Tate's like, <laughs> Tate's like, dude, the, this just like the narrative has flipped. She's like, let me check <laughs> out on myself. Like, dude, oh, the queen. <laughs> Sir, it will not end well. Your ass is gonna be for the streets. All right, oh shit. I'm mean, really, really excited for the next one. I feel like any song with the word hills in it is so dope, like Agora Hills by Doja Cat. The Hills by The Weeknd. I just feel like this song is gonna me up like i don't know it's just it's been calling out to me ever since she released the track list and i'm not ready and just from that first note that i heard i feel like a bad bitch is about to come out just stop me now like i know i know it's gonna take me out oh okay all right i'm for the hose this production okay Jasper Harris. 
Mr. Tutter be f***ing around on this goddamn album. Hold up, I gotta look at the lyrics. I feel like I'm always just, like I, it's so hard to focus on everything. I'm such a lyric queen. But this production got me distracted, so I need to go look up the lyrics. Maybe the danger's covered by the thrill, because I know I should be running for the hills. Yeah, like there's something exciting in doing things that you're not supposed to do. I think that people get excited to do things that they're not supposed to do, or they like a little bad boy, bad girl, whatever. But yeah, like honestly, it ends up leaving you hurt. Yeah, you're not gonna be safe and sound with someone who likes to do dangerous things. It's gonna be a reckless type energy. <laughs> So with my oh my god, this face. Okay. Go up the octave. Go, why are we going back though? Break into my life and break all my rules. It's true. Like you have certain rules that you set for yourself. You had certain standards. But like keep them up, girl. Keep them up. Hold to them. Like don't let someone change your ground. Especially not this crusty dusty man. Unless he's actually good. But from the song, like he, I feel like he's not. <laughs> I was run for the hills. So we went from, we went from <laughs> cutting my hair, everybody's in our guy bitch face to greedy. She wants her stuff, but now we're back, now we're kind of in a situation where we're trapped again and we need to run for the hills. Girl, yikes. And get out, sis. Put on them Nikes, Adidas, Hoka's, on clouds, whatever the hell you be wearing, put them on, strap up and get out of there. Next up, we got hurt my feelings. Girl, I hope you don't hurt my feelings because I'm not in the mood to cry. I is Friday, bitch. Y'all know how I feel about Fridays. I'm trying to start my weekend off well. I cry a lot. So I want to have a good weekend, sis. So I hope that it's like a play. You know, it's a joke. He doesn't actually hurt your feelings. Because I don't want you to get hurt. I'm rooting for you, girl. For you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? I really am. So I hope you ran. And like, it's kind of like no one can hurt your feelings type vibes. Oh god, the crescendo. Uh, she wears your number, but I got what you like. What in the high school movie is this? No ma'am, if he's not giving you his jersey, dip, he ain't it. Why do we want him? Where is the greedy energy? Where is the greedy energy? We ran for the hills. We still want him? Yeah, like he's gonna hurt your feelings. You gotta cut him off. Drop him. Drop him. You want yourself. Like you can wear your own jersey, bitch. <laughs> His jersey. It's probably crusty and sweaty anyway. <laughs> Dude, this production is sickening, honestly, bro. These songs are so easy to remember the words to. <sighs> Grave sounded like it was gonna be sad just from those few piano notes that I just heard. He's not giving that he's gonna make you happy. I'm nervous about Grave, but also happy. Let me explain. I feel like she's gonna be at a really low point in this song, and like she just felt like giving up or something. This is just me making a prediction. I have no idea. I haven't heard it. I feel like she's gonna be like at a really low point, and then maybe this is like the turning point in the album. She's realized that she's kind of like digging her own grave, kind of like 
Olivia Rodrigo like making the bed for herself you know she's the one who's doing it I feel like it's gonna be kind of like that concept but like with a grave and then I feel like hopefully after that we're gonna get our little resurrection from the grave oh, sounding sad muffled conversation in the background Oh girl, I get it. Wait, I held, I hold grudges like I held you. I feel like that can be interpreted in different ways, but I'm thinking like I hold grudges like I held you because she doesn't have them anymore, so she just lets go of her grudges really easily. Let me know if like if y'all think that's what she meant there. dig the grave so deep you can only try to save something that's not already gone i don't know why i'm getting a lot of like references today but it's kind of making me think of sabrina carpenter's song already over kind of like how their relationship's already over and you know there's nothing left there to decode or whatever it's kind of making me think of that just like you know you only can try to save something that's not already gone like if he's already checked out he's already gone he's already moved on you can't really like help him he is on a different path now he's not he's not yours to help he's emotionally checked out and it's like also not people's job to fix other people you know i feel like i've said that definitely before in some of my videos but you can only fix yourself like no one can fix you that's not possible you have to heal through traumas or like whatever you've been through and like learn how to cope with it and be and treat others really well you can only dig the grave so deep like you can't work any harder to try to fix someone you know what i'm saying oh we're getting a change up now oh shit she's done Bro, yes, you really only can dig it so deep. Girl, you can't change so Girl, you really can't. Like, there's no saving something that's already gone. They can only save themselves, and if they don't want to change, if they don't want to get on a better path, they're going to stay on the long road to getting better. You take the high road and get the hell out of there, girl. Run for the hell, shit. Next up, we got Stay Done. We're getting close to being halfway through the album. I'm hoping she realizes from Grave that she needs to stay done with his ass because he is not... It. he is not providing he is not loving her the way she wants to be loved treating her the way she wants to be treated so we're staying done and removed Ooh, getting some guitar i like this vibe already it's giving more like i just think i could fly energy hit me with the oos let's go Hey, no. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh my god, oh my god. This girl, she just keeps getting back with her ex or exes or whatever it is. Tate, I'm so worried. We're best friends and enemies. We're good till you're dead to me. I told you goodbye like a hundred million times. I just can't stay done with you. It's definitely hard like whenever you have a lot of good memories with someone to like, I guess let go of that. Not even that you have to let go of it necessarily. Like you don't have to see people in an ill-mannered light. Like you can, 
you could have dated someone and you can see them in a positive light and think they're not a bad person or anything like y'all just weren't compatible in that way totally fine even like friendships like sometimes you meet someone and y'all they can they can be a chill person but y'all don't just like have a connection like a friend connection you know it's just you move on hard because maybe they do still have some good aspects and you keep going back to them and you can't stay done with them I miss you, you want to come over? And Tate was like, F I can't stay done with this person. Oh, my neck literally just cracked. So did my heart from listening to this. Oh, the back and forth. Girl, I don't know if my eye hurts or I'm tearing up or both. Oh, I love this production. Ooh. I think that was my favorite one so far. Like, I'm not even shitting y'all. I really enjoyed that track. Cut My Hair was really good. And Greedy's a banger. But I really liked that one. Well, you know I like a sad girl track. I'm a sad emo bitch. Moving on to X's. Heard this one before. I reacted to it. But we're gonna bop for a second. The song makes a lot more sense in the context of this album. It's what it is and what's what it was. It's too much, it's too don't give a shit up. I'm sorry, sorry that you love me. I changed my mind up like, what's origami? So she was okay, I guess, with like the back and forth for so long. And then she was like, finally, like, I'm cutting this shit off. This, piss this is like really pissing me off and I can't heal. And maybe now that she's healed, you know, she says, let's just say what it is. And let's just say it is what it is and was what it was. They want her back. Because when they don't want it, oh, they all of a sudden magically want you more. And she's like, I'm done. This is where I'm at. This is the stance I'm holding right now. Okay, Tate, like, get it, grow up, girl. straight into we're not alike already liking the production on it sounds very different oh the drum i got a lack of good judgment judging by the fact i got close to you girl you said it not me she really was just going back and forth back and forth and yeah the judgment wasn't too strong on that one so I'm glad like she's like saying this and putting it into the atmosphere and like what she's gonna do about it, I don't know. But I hope that she can overcome this. Oh, there's she needs some closure. see where this was going i'm sorry y'all i i was not ready for this i thought this was about the guy so but this is about a girl Ooh, this is worse oh shit this is worse this is worse bitch so you had a friend who was a girl and you got close to her and i guess she got with the guy that you were with oh what a backstabbing bitch oh i mean f the guy and the girl i hate whenever people are just like f the girl or they're just like f I like both of them for doing that. That's messed up.
she did it twice, so did she forgive her and then she did it again? Dude, this is tea. Who is this about? I'm sorry, but I'll never see your side. Honestly, like, I could never see someone else's side. Like, if I was dating someone and someone I was friends with and the person that I was with, like, got together in some kind of way, I, like, literally would never trust one, neither one of them again. I would end things with both of them, the friendship and the relationship. And I would maybe talk to them again in the future, but cordially, probably not as, like, friends or anything. I would forgive them eventually over time, but I would never give it a second shot. Not a girl's girl for sure. Oh, that one hurt, y'all. I told, you know, I said at some point in this video that Tate was gonna like stab me and hurt me and destroy me, but honestly, like, she was the one who got stabbed and hurt and destroyed. She literally got stabbed in the back by a bestie. Oh my god. Next up, we got Calgary. I think that's how you say it. I think it's a place in Canada. I think it might be like where she grew up. I'm not sure, but I know she's from Canada. I wanna go to Canada. Girl, I get it. Hello, my brother. Come on, Whoa. You said that I always seem to land on my feet, but I got problems hanging like a chain. Oh, like a chain around my neck. I thought she said chair, and I was like, but it's it was chain. False alarm, false alarm. Yeah, that's still sad. Like, ugh, girl, the weight of the chain. Oh, girl, me too. Oh, don't take me, don't take me. I don't really know much about like her background, but from like what I've gathered so far of the stuff I've seen on the internet, she was going to high school and then all of a sudden she kind of just like blew up all of a sudden, I think. Could be wrong. Feel free to tell me in the comments. I feel like that would be so hard if you like kind of lived like a somewhat normal life and then you're in high school and then all of a sudden you like blow up and it's like then even going back to that town because like most people would just stay away but then having to go back to that town it must be so weird like it must be so weird like now you're a celebrity and then people or even if they like really loved you like people wanting to like use you for your fame to get like higher status on like media on like i don't know if like instagram or like whatever like, i'm from louisiana for example like like britney spears is a great example <laughs> like someone came from louisiana like what would you do if what do you do when everything changes girl don't take them it's not worth it they're addictive Girl, slit me. Ooh, sorry, I got chills just now. Ooh, uh, she said, that was like a cool line. And I do it again, I'm a creature of habit. So she just keeps repeating the same habits over and over. She's having a really hard time not talking to people that she's been involved with. The moment's gone, but I'm still trying to catch it. Girl, if it's gone, just just let it be. A new one will arrive soon. Everyone left and I never got past it. She needs closure either from the relationship or she needs to just find closure within herself and just move on. But it's like really hard because she just seems to, I guess, feel really deeply. She said in one of her songs that I listened to a while ago that she has like a lot of sympathy and it's just hard like to move past things and 
all that. That was Calgary. Calgary! I hope I'm saying it right. Like, I honestly think, like, I'm not saying it right for some reason. Because I've never had to say the word Calgary before. I feel like people are going to roast me. I feel like it's not how you pronounce it. Let me, like, actually, you know what? Let me go look it up because I don't want to sound like a dumb bitch. Calgary. Calgary. Wait, no, let me hear it again. Calgary. Okay, is it, like, Calgary? Like, Calgary? Like, Calgary? Or is it Calgary? Do you hear like the little difference? Which one is it, y'all? It's spelled Calgary, like Cal, like Calgary. That's what like the phonetics looks like. But then it's, it sounds like Calgary. Calgary. Yeah, it sounds like Calgary to me. I think I'm saying it right. Look, I'm not the most bright sometimes. The next song is called Messier. I'm really worried, honestly, because I feel like it's already been a little messy, just like the back and forth. I mean, she got stabbed in the back by a friend. This is gonna be heartbreaking if something else happened, like, girl, I'm, I'm nervous. Never been so like that. Oh, it's slower so far, okay. sound good i was literally thinking like when he was pulling when she when she was saying that he was pulling her arm i was like girl he's gonna give you bruises like he needs to chill dude boiling blood is such a like a emotional honestly hey no that's not good not good it literally just started raining outside also mother nature was feeling that one but i want to think later i'm nervous i was expecting more of her to like not be i'm trying to find the right words i feel like i was expecting like with starting with cut my hair i thought this was gonna be like bad bitch like i'm about to destroy men but i honestly think that so far it's just been really sad like it seems like a lot of back and forth going to the eggs and like I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I love a sad girl track. I react to a lot of sad girl artists on this channel, but I was not expecting this because of greedy and exes. It just, they're, they're such different energy. I guess it makes sense to, like, all the back and forth. Like, she goes back and forth from, like, being in love with her ex and, you know, just falling back into their arms to, like, not liking them and being confident. And it's, like, this, like, cycle back and forth. So I guess it does make sense, like, how they're in, like, this order. I don't think it started off one way and now she's done. I think that's kind of like the overall theme of the album it's just like going back and forth and she's not thinking it's like she knows but she keeps doing it i don't understand oh this is dirty opening line live now think later i do it so well she's living in these moments but then whenever she gets out of these moments and then she's not with the person anymore or happy it's like she reflects and she's like why do i do this but it's like she's such it seems like she just lives in the moment a lot okay oh My friends got scared and they called the cops because they were like, where the f**k's Like, is she good? Did this dude kidnap her? And she's like, but I'm just at the Ritz with the door locked. She's in this bougie ass hotel getting down. Oh my god. Okay, um, 
plot twist. <laughs> to this base. She's thinking later. She's having fun. She's living in the moment. I mean, I'm down for that. Like, girl, like, have a good night. Just be safe, of course. Live your 20s, queen. conscience because she knows like she shouldn't be with this guy it's kind of like the same theme throughout the album really and truly like she shouldn't be with this person she goes get with him again also like obviously it doesn't have to be about the same person this could be about different people but kind of like the same pattern of behavior like trying to end it but then not really ending it and going back and then kind of in that cycle you know <laughs> I don't care what my friends say, girl. Second to last track. It is called Want That Too. I'm just gonna try to feel this one. I'm not gonna look at the lyrics. I'm trying something different. I might look at the lyrics, but I'm gonna try not to at first. the second i found i found something good i know that you're gonna want that too they will because they want that positivity that good energy that you're bringing every time you come back to them and you know whenever you don't come back to them they're finally gonna be like oh they're really gonna realize what they lost you know Oof. i like how the beat went away too and she was just kind of saying like you're gonna want that too like it's just so soft and like it really makes you know it really gives a second for us as listeners to like reflect on like what she's saying like you're gonna want that too like oh like it really gives you a second to think about it you know like we're not thinking later anymore we're thinking now bitch The confidence is back, girl. The confidence is back. You're gonna want that too. Now that you got your happiness and you're happy, they're gonna want it. You know that saying, like, I think it's like what? Misery, misery loves company. Like if you get out of just like that back and forth, going back and forth and you just finally like move on from that, like you're gonna get happy. And then you're able to like be happy. People will even see you be happy and they're gonna want that shit too. They're gonna be like, shit, she's glowing. I like that one a lot. It really is a true concept. People are gonna want that too. You know, whenever people see you're so happy and like you're pop full of positivity, it radiates. Like genuinely, it does radiate and people want that too. This was one of the other tracks that I was very, very excited for. Plastic Palm Trees. I feel like it's going to be like fake LA vibe 
or something along those lines and everybody's like being plastic you know just like a plastic life but she wants more than that or something along those lines that's my little prediction let's see if i'm right oh guitar let's let's oh i love the guitar so much Dude, as someone who grew up in a really small town, there, there really is nothing to do but talk about the drops. So that also southern, so maybe this doesn't apply to Canada, but I love sitting on the porch, getting that porch talk, them southern vibes, and just the, talking about the town gossip, like with your grandma and your mom or something. It's just like, what else are you supposed to do? There's literally nothing to do. It's just kind of like what it is being in a small town. So I like I gotta live in a city, y'all. I get way too bored. If I lived in a small town, I would be up to no good. I'm glad that I'm a city girl now. Hollywood perfection like that lifestyle it's not real it's really not real you know it's just a lot of like drugs is the first thing so much drugs out there it's a lot of posting it for the gram pictures are not reality 90% of the time at least and it's a lot of just like connecting for like networking like it's just like that's one thing I do love about small towns it's a lot more real definitely nothing to do like I genuinely can't live in a small town Calm down, sir. I genuinely can't live in a small town because I think that I would lose my shit. I definitely feel like it is hard for people to be celebrities. They're constantly being watched. I would have a hard time with like my privacy. I like, you know, my privacy. So if I was constantly being watched, it would be really hard for me. So I get it. And it's just like, also like who's a real friend when you know you're a celebrity. It'd be really hard to know like who's your, who's your ride or dies. You know what I mean? Definitely, I would have to say, I still think Greedy is a great song. I mean, it's definitely in my top three, so that song is addictive. I really liked Stay Done. Just the production on that one, it felt like old school. Like, I don't know, I just really, really enjoyed that track. And I just kind of liked how, you know, she's just calling herself out. You know, she can't stay done and she needs to, like genuinely, so she can get better and heal. I love, 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 want that too, as well. Want that too was just like you're so happy and like everyone sees it like you're radiating you're glowing and then people like want a taste of that so you have to watch out because people want a taste of that happiness if you know you get into the wrong hands so i really liked how just like that overall message of like they're gonna want that too i liked the sophomore album it definitely exceeded the expectations it only went up from her first album used to think i could fly you slay tate good job we were so greedy for it thank you for feeding us this christmas if you made it to the end of the video y'all you were beautiful and sexy and thank you so much for making it all the way through and i hope y'all had fun vibing and listening to this album with me please subscribe y'all it really helps the channel comment below what was your favorite track off the album and comment below how this album made you feel in emojis i'm curious that's it for me today but i hope they all have a lovely day or a beautiful night and i'll catch y'all soon with a new video Later, babes.